Hi guys, so I'm now five weeks into healing, yes! <laughs> and I'm so happy. I literally have one week left, seven days, six and a half days if you're counting. Um, and then I can return to the gym. I have been driving, as you can see I'm sitting, um, using my BBL pillow, and I had my work meeting where I had to sit at a desk for two hours, and I survived, yes! <laughs> I just feel super, super happy today, and I just wanted to come on and give a little update and just tell you how amazing it has been this entire journey for me. You've seen me from day one um, leaving hospital when I puffed up and was swollen, um, changing dressings, going to the clinic for laser treatments, for skin treatments, having my drains removed. You've literally been with me all the way throughout, from start to finish. Um, and I just want to say thank you for your love and support and I hope that in sharing my surgical journey for BBL that it has given you some insight into what to expect um, and perhaps enough information for you to decide if it's something that you should consider or not. Having buttock implants I guess is something that is still fairly new in the UK. Um, a lot of celebrities across the world have BBL. In the UK, you know, it's still quite new here. I think it's kind of, it's a, a trend that is fast beginning with a lot of people still denying that they've had fat injections. Um, I hope that in sharing my journey so openly and honestly, that actually people will be able to see when bodies have been enhanced so they can understand what to expect through nature and aesthetics. Um, I think it would be very misleading to t say to somebody that you know, you haven't had a procedure when you so blatantly have. Um, I don't think that we should be ashamed of our natural bodies, but equally I believe that we should, in every shape and size, love the skin we are in. And to also understand that if you do want to make a change, you can do so safely and securely with a professional. I love surgery and I love Mother Nature. You know, there is this kind of meeting between the two to allow you to live the way that you choose to live, to allow you to look the way that you choose to look. I would just finally like to say a very, very big thank you to Serene Cosmetic and Dr. Asani. Without them, I would never have got through this as amazingly as I have. Um, Serene Cosmetic just literally took the stress out of everything for me. They booked everything I needed to do from the UK to Marbella um, in Spain. They took care of accommodation, food, aftercare, transport, all I had to do was just relax in paradise and it was amazing. And Dr. Aslani is always is an absolute perfectionist. He makes me feel so safe, so secure, and talks through every single concern, every single outcome and eventuality, and just achieves the most flawless results. I came into this surgery wanting a very natural finish. I didn't want to look obviously fake, um, but equally I wanted volume back. I wanted to feel that womanly, you know, to have curves without having to gain weight. Um, gaining weight for my initial surgery meant that it has now been deposited in the areas that it should be to fill in my hip dips, and that has been the biggest difference, um, as well as obviously the buttock implants themselves. To be able to have an hourglass figure without all these wobbly, wibbly bits and muffin tops and lumpy parts, um, it's really made me feel like a woman reborn. They say that BBL surgery is one of the hardest surgeries to go through. A lot of um, people struggle with the recovery from it, but I hope I've actually shown you that I think it's more the fear of the unknown that, that kind of affects people, and it's their mentality after surgery. Yes, you will be tired. Yes, you will be weak and unable to move in the same way that you could prior to surgery whilst you're healing, but that period of time is so very short in comparison to the rest of your life. To take a few weeks off of work and to, to rest up and recover, actually it's something that I think we should all do regardless of if you've had surgery or not. To spend some time reading or watching movies or doing the things that we love, painting, drawing, um, studying, you know, I've achieved my next exams, I've, I've qualified during my recovery which is, has been really incredible for me and it's a journey of growth. Um, that I hope I can motivate you to do the same. I hope you can see what is involved in BBL surgery, the aftercare, the healing, and um, I will continue to show you my results now at a, a later stage um, as the healing is progressing. So 
um, after several months I will show you more, after a year I'll show you more, um, as the body will still continue to, to shift and settle um, as my new physique takes shape. I also want to share with you um, BBL and bodybuilding, which I'm very excited about, to be in the best shape of my life and to keep my curves, can you imagine? So I want to thank you once again for following me on my journey. I hope you will continue to see my updates as and when I release them. And if you do have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments box below and I will answer them um, as soon as possible. Take care. <laughs>